Turkey is another uh, destination making great steps to guarantee a safe travel. We have with us uh, Ms. Elif Balji, Deputy General Manager of the Turkey Tourism Promotion and Development Agency, who will explain us how Turkey is doing at a country level to uh, protect tourists. Dear distinguished friends, my name is Elif Balji Fisnoğlu and I am happy to well address you today uh, on behalf of uh, Turkey Tourism Promotion Development Agency and Ministry of Tourism and Culture, uh, Turkey. In these hard times, we are proud to say Turkey has been very successful against the fight with COVID-19 due to our uh, strong healthcare system, immediate re restrictions and additional protocols. And by establishing a safe tourism certification program, we were able to set the safe grounds for travelers from the airport to the hotel and all the way back to their hometown. And now I will be very happy to share with you uh, the, the main pillars of our certification program. Our program was one of the first uh, of its kind within Europe uh, last year in May 2020. And it was, uh, it was initiated under the leadership of the Ministry of Culture and Tourism, Ministry of Health, Ministry of Internal Affairs, and Ministry of Foreign Affairs, and in cooperation with all the stakeholders of the industry. It started with the normalization uh, process of the tourism, and the program consists of four main pillars, health and safety of the passengers, health and safety of the employee, measures at the facilities, and measures at the transportation vehicles. And the certification program was actively uh, started and available for the hotels as of May 2020. Now we are celebrating the first anniversary of our certification program, and we continue updating uh, the protocols and the criteria uh, with, the, uh, with the changing situation of the uh, COVID uh, virus. As of uh, June 1st, uh, the certification program was available for all the accommodation facilities and it was compulsory for hotels with 100 and more rooms. And within the calendar after June, we made it compulsory for hotels with 50 and more rooms. And now as of 2021, 1st of January, it's compulsory for any accommodation facility in Turkey with 30 and more rooms. But it is not only for accommodation facilities. We set seven different types of criteria for different tourism facilities and services, which I will share with you uh, in, in a moment. And today we have more than 132 uh, items within our criteria set. And it's been updated uh, so many times uh, since the pandemic started uh, due to the uh, new needs and regulations. There's a, there are several uh, certification programs all around uh, and uh, we congratulate all the other destinations and uh, international companies and brands for all the efforts. We all support each other and develop each other. Uh, but we are very proud uh, to have uh, maybe the most uh, strict uh, certification program uh, as our certificates are valid or only for one month period. So any facility receiving the certification is just for one month time. And each month they have to reapply to the certification company for a new one. And there's one uh, official visit for issuing the certification, which is done by the independent certification company. And there are additional three visits without notice, one by the certification company, one from the Ministry of Tourism and Culture's uh, related department, and uh, one uh, from the municipality or the governorship. Uh, there is no uh, permission for a remote inspection. All the inspections has to be done physically. 
All inspections has to be reported to TGA. TGA is the uh, promotion uh, agency of Turkey, uh, which I'm representing. And we are now the owner of the program on behalf of the government. And we run a CRM system, an entire management of the uh, coordination with the certification companies, with the facilities, with the stakeholders, and with the government. And each uh, certificate, each month, has a new QR code which is uh, taking place in each certificate, available all around the uh, accommodation facility or the tourism service, that any consumer, any visitor can check if the certification is valid, when it's been given, who authorized that, and all the details. And also the QR code um, is connected with our website and the Ministry of Tourism and Culture's website that the hotels and the services, facilities, which have a uh, certification are listed. And also we have a system that every month we provide the list of the certified accommodation facilities to tour operators and online travel agencies. Uh, as I said, we have been putting all the new measures in place. We have an also, uh, because you know, the pandemic started uh, and the season started uh, the reopening was in summertime. So we were able to use the benefit of the uh, outdoor uh, areas. But then the winter came and our, uh, the city hotels, the winter hotels, and also ski centers became also uh, active and under operation. So the, the f air filtering of the indoor spaces uh, was an also very important uh, matter. And uh, now HEPA filters are compulsory for any facility that is using indoor space. It's the same for hotels, it's the same for restaurants, it's the same for ski rent centers as well. Each uh, facility also, which is part of the certification program, has to provide PCR tests for any consumer who is willing to have. I mean, it's available again all around the world, but there are different prices. Turkish government set one single standard price with the governmental hospitals, with the private sector hospitals, and also with the private clinics. And as part of the certification program, each hotel has to have an agreement with an, uh, with an clinic, uh, with an health center, or with an hospital, that whenever a uh, guest uh, asks for a PCR test, they come to the hotel and they do the test, and it's the same price everywhere in the, uh, in the country for locals and for internationals. Because we know that the additional expenses are uh, are very uh, important matter at the moment. Uh, we all need uh, the PCR test, the antigen test at the airport uh, when arriving, uh, while entering to have events. So we made this available and also affordable uh, for anyone uh, who is in need. The most important also another uh, element uh, within our program is the verification program and, this, uh, and the uh, certification. Uh, the, the certification documents are not given by the ministry or by our agency. We only uh, own the program and coordinate the program and run the cooperation and coordination. We have at the moment uh, 17 companies. They are independent, uh, internationally recognized certification companies who has the experience on working in the tourism sector, all, also in different sectors. And it's their document, it's their uh, control and auditing. Uh, and we have a uh, criteria that they have to be internationally accredited and uh, they should be operating at least uh, at five uh, different uh, companies and a minimum of two countries uh, within Europe except Turkey. And they should have an ISO uh, accreditation as well. And of course, we check their experience in inspection of food hygiene, safety, occupational health and safety, and of course, environmental uh, management. And also, they have to provide a number of independent auditors they have. And we have also criteria for uh, whom can uh, do the visit and whom can uh, sign the uh, certificates. And at the moment, uh, we have uh, almost 10,000 active certification. Uh, this is 
this is the monthly actually uh, number. Uh, we have some hotels uh, which were still uh, closed uh, due to the, uh, the seasonality, like the uh, ski resorts in some areas and res uh, summer resorts in some areas. Uh, we, but we have almost 5,000 uh, accommodation facilities uh, which are uh, certified. Uh, for the restaurants and cafes, it is not compulsory. It is still voluntary basis. Uh, but we have uh, almost 2,000 restaurants also uh, with the certification. And uh, we have this certification for the transfer vehicles. It's each vehicle, each car, each minivan uh, that's been uh, certified and they have a different set uh, cr of criteria. And as I said, uh, because of the uh, season, we made ski lifts and also ski facilities certified uh, and they were ready for the season. Uh, we have art and congress centers, uh, theaters and museums also uh, certified. And we have the uh, sea tourism, uh, the marinas, uh, the cruise ports and uh, sea transportation vehicles also uh, part of the certification program. And also we have the uh, team parks and aqua parks also uh, with the certification. And as part of the certification program, uh, we started the vaccination program for the tourism employees. It started at the uh, beginning of April and uh, until uh, June, uh, they will have uh, all the tourism staff working in different regions, in different facilities, including the accommodation facilities, restaurants, transportation, airports, airlines, and also the professional tour guides uh, will be having their second, uh, the, the two shots uh, before uh, June. And already a majority of them uh, got their uh, two dose of the shots. Uh, and it's of course for the protection of them and it's also uh, for the confidence for the visitors uh, traveling to country uh, as part of this certification. And, you know, we all have new uh, needs. And we do also have the concerns. Sometimes there are people who are asymptomatic, uh, but they found co uh, positive while leaving the country, or they may become sick, uh, maybe uh, even uh, bringing the you know, virus uh, all the way with them. So we do have uh, three different uh, types of uh, insurance policies. Uh, that are supported uh, and uh, guaranteed by the Turkish uh, government. Uh, one is uh, for the uh, COVID uh, health treatment. Uh, so depending on how many they stay and depending on the coverage that they are willing to, uh, any visitor coming to Turkey can uh, purchase the uh, COVID uh, treatment package uh, online or from the, uh, from the airport, uh, and it covers the entire uh, treatment at a private hospital in Turkey. Uh, and uh, we have the accommodation insurance, uh, because if you are positive, and if, when you are willing to uh, you know, leave from the country, you have to stay in the same hotel for additional 10 days, 14 days, depending on the international protocols. So but when doing the res reservation, you can, uh, re you can also guarantee and ensure uh, your accommodation. Uh, if you are found positive, you don't need to uh, worry about the hotel, uh, extra hotel uh, rates. For, for, the, uh, for the tour operator and group hotels, the, actually the tour operators and the hotels and the hoteliers associations in Turkey have the agreement to provide those guarantees without the insurance that was initiated last year and announced last year. Uh, but for city breaks, short uh, term stays at the hotels, uh, individuals traveling for business or any other purposes, uh, they can uh, secure uh, and they can guarantee their stay uh, with an insurance uh, package. Also, uh, we know that uh, some of the countries 
are not uh, accepting uh, the regular health insurance, travel insurance uh, during the pandemic times uh, as there are some, you know, green zones, orange zones, red zones and so on. So we have the uh, additional travel insurance um, that uh, any visitor to Turkey can purchase again online uh, if they are in need of any other health uh, support, uh, any treatment, uh, an accident or something happening, they have also the full coverage. So we are aware that traveling is uh, not uh, as, is, as easy before, but we all as, as individuals, uh, we all miss traveling. Uh, we would like to travel uh, ourselves. Also, we as the destination uh, are uh, taking all the efforts to make our destination available for anyone who is willing to come without any concerns. And as, as, as said, we started last year. We are very proud with our program. And uh, when we look at the uh, results of our program, uh, we strengthen our position as a, a popular uh, tourism destination for international tra travelers. Um, in 2020, we rank uh, as the uh, fourth most popular destination within Europe with the international arrivals. We increase our share in the international tourism market and we welcomed 16 million visitors in 2020. And I would like to share with you when finishing my uh, presentation, uh, the official uh, launch uh, movie of the Safe Tourism uh, Certification Program and uh, Safe Tourism Turkey. Thank you very much for listening. And if there will be any uh, questions or any uh, additional information requested, I will be more than happy to uh, answer it. Thank you very much. When Daddy asked if you'd like to go on a journey that my team and I cried, yes! And Chop Chop, we packed our bags. Our spaceship landed in a whole new world. Cans that scan all the colors in the human body. All those hyper laser sci-fi tech gadgets and the cyborgs. You should have seen all those fantastic things. Daddy said, this is all for your health. In the end, it felt like we were a part of that world. Like in all our travels, we took care of ourselves and had a super duper extraordinary, marvelously fun time. By then, I knew this was the most extraordinary journey of my life. Like forever and ever, the voyage to the green blue planet. We arrange all the necessities and details for both joy and wellness for you to enjoy our beautiful turkey with your loved ones. Save your dates for safe holidays.